Treehouse of Horror 22 is definitely one of the most boring Treehouse of Horrors in a very long time. This is the third episode of the 23rd season of The Simpsons, and it started off okay. It started off on Halloween night, and Bart and Lisa had been trick-or-treating, and Marge was dressed as the Switch Witch, who switches their candy for healthy foods, and Homer runs off with their candy, planning on eating it in secret, and he gets into a very stuck kind of situation. I won't say how he's stuck, or indeed how he resolves it, well, tries to resolve it, but it was it was okay. I didn't mind it. I felt like it was suitably gory and pretty good fun and not a bad start. Then we have the the diving bell and the butterball, and Homer is bitten by a spider, and he's paralyzed, and he learns to communicate in a way that's pretty gross. I didn't mind it, but I didn't love it. It's not my kind of humor, but. It was relatively cleverly done. I, I, I thought it was okay. I didn't love this segment. I wasn't that bothered about it, but I didn't I didn't hate it. And then the second segment I actually quite liked, and this is Dial D for Diddly. And this is parodying Dexter, and Ned hears the voice of God telling him to kill people. Or is it God? And I won't I won't say more than that, but I, I liked this. I thought it developed really well. It, it held information back in a way that I thought was suspenseful. And it also questions how much some people will do things for religion. I think it's very thought-provoking and very well done. And I, I enjoyed it. I won't say I loved it. I didn't watch it thinking, wow, that was amazing. But it was it was pretty decent. It was thought-provoking. The pacing was good. And I think Ned was a, an interesting character. And then we have In the Navy, which is a parody of Avatar. It is so boring. There were a couple of, uh, uh, you know, a few bits of dialogue that I thought was okay. But generally I found it to be so boring. Um, Bart and Milhouse end up going to this alien planet. And, um, well... Bart gets into a difficult situation and after that point I thought it was okay the treatment of the the female character I thought there were some good lines surrounding her about her being with slug and things which I thought was quite amusing but in general I really didn't care for it and I, I didn't find it to be fun it was creative you know credit where it's due it's very creatively animated there's a lot of attention to detail it's very full on, a lot, you know, there's a lot to look at at any one time, that's it, to the episode's credit. But I still didn't like it. I, I didn't care for it at all. So for me, honestly, this is one of the weakest Treehouse of Horrors ever. It's not terrible. None of the segments were abysmal, which does occasionally happen. But I, I didn't really find very much of it to be that interesting. So for me, I probably wouldn't skip it. If I was watching this season again, but if I had to rank all of the Treehouse of Horrors, which I might do at some point, this one's definitely going quite near the bottom.